All righty, we continue here, JR and Rick. So Scottie Pippen appeared on The Jump, which he has been accustomed to doing over the last few NBA seasons. Great show, by the way, on ESPN. And uh, hosted by Rachel Nichols, who is also excellent. So Scottie Pippen was talking about Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors. And what I noticed about this, and then we'll show you what he said, is the different mindset that veterans have I mean, like 90s veterans, uh-huh. as opposed to now. And the different mindset that NBA players have evolved into over time. That's all that I see. This is like a very similar get off my lawn moment. <laughs> so here's what Scottie Pippen had to say, and then we'll react. They're gonna be better. I don't know how I can say this. <laughs> They're gonna be better than they were a year ago. <laughs> you know, so. It's ridiculous. I mean, when you look at a guy like KD, KD could be remembered as the greatest player, the greatest scorer to ever play the game. Uh, excuse but me? Because excuse he's me? playing with two of the greatest shooters right? to ever play the game, right? he's on chill mode. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> because no one can stop this guy. Mm-hmm. He's 6'11. Right. He can shoot over anyone. He can get his shot off at any time. Can defend. And he's a defender. Yep. But he's such an unselfish player, mm-hmm. and, and he, he plays the game the, the right yeah. way. He went into a situation where he hasn't stepped on anybody's toes. He hasn't went there to try to be the league's leading scorer, which we all know he can. He could be if he wanted to, yep. And, like, he just, like, he's in chill mode. Like, he is going to be a guy that could have averaged 35, 40 points in this league, yeah. and he's accepting winning overall, he might nothing do, individual, he it's might, about the team. He might do that next year if he goes to the Knicks. <laughs> Great point. I don't think he's going after him. You don't? No, because he, he's, he's basically saying he's unselfish. He's not worried about any personal accolades and, and outside of finals MVPs. Um, and and uh, any stats that'll get him in the upper echelon of the LeBron Jameses and the Michael Jordan talks, who obviously Scotty Pippen played with, mm-hmm. He said he's so unselfish, he's putting winning over his own legacy, personal legacy. I viewed it differently. I viewed chill mode as like he's taking the easy route because he said that everything was already in place before he got Mm -hmm. there. He didn't have to join this team, which is the same sort of rhetoric I've heard from many other NBA greats that have come and gone. That all say, it was like, look, we can read between the lines here. Most of them call it a bitch move. Without, without even saying the word bitch, uh-huh. they call it a bitch move. That's what I perceived as him uh-huh. saying chill mode because he has to be PG. Obviously, he can't say anything ridiculous and outrageous, which is why you come to us. Uh, he can't say anything like that because of uh, FCC regulations. But he found a different way. It's sort of like when Adrian Wojnarowski with the draft is like, the Cavs are leaning towards Colin Sexton. Uh-huh. Because in his contract, he couldn't say, the Cavs are drafting Colin Sexton. He'd be like, right. The Suns expressing great interest in DeAndre. Like, we could read between the lines here. We know what's going on. The Suns like the way he plays basketball. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, I, I do hear it. It's just maybe that's a masking feature. I mean, to not I think have so. a headline where Scottie Pippen calls out, uh, calls out Kevin Durant. Maybe he doesn't want that, so he'll say he's being unselfish. And he's putting winning over everything else, mm-hmm. and that's that's the part that again maybe I, maybe we'll find out. We'll see what you guys think. But um, maybe when, when you, maybe I got duped in thinking because he went with the glowing features of what he could be. He's like this guy can average forty points in this league. He could be up there as one of the greatest scorers of all time. This guy saying it who played next to what everyone considers the greatest score of all time. Who everyone right. considers the greatest? Isn't score. it usually how it's prefaced though is by saying everything was already there. Like, he's, he's putting winning with the Warriors above doing it on his own. That's what I heard. Yeah, because they're not doing it on his own. He's playing I, a team game. Don't you also feel like legends don't respect him because of that move? There are, I think there's some. They've said it. Yeah. Um, because, again, they have the same mindset of the old school where a lot of guys would stay right. on a team mostly because they didn't have that opportunity to leave. Right. Um, which so many of them did fight for things to allow free agency and freedom of players to play where they want to play. Right. Um, but then they would they still had that, but we can't. It's because of the choice of where. Legends aren't mad at LeBron for going to Miami. Maybe some are. But he didn't go on a team that was set up. Right, he, exactly. He, he collected some guys and said, let's all go to the same place. Right. KD joined one. That was even better. 
Um, so I think legends think, hey, you know what? He left, but he didn't leave and go to the team that he couldn't get past. That's what it is because there's a right. level of competitiveness with these guys, and they can't shake. I'm not going to play with the guys. Like, think about the the. There's reason there's there's rivalries from and historic rivalries in every sport mm -hmm. because there's guys that continually every year play each other and they don't like each other. But I mean, they're cool, but they don't like each other on the court. So you don't play against the guy you don't like with the guy you don't like. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they're wondering why this guy is wired to be able to do that. Although it seems like to go back to one of your your initial points there. I don't feel like legends completely respect LeBron for going and teaming up with other guys because they're of the same mindset. And again, this is this is like the LeBron-like effect where it's okay to leave. It's called free agency. You're allowed to do whatever the hell you want. But I feel like a lot of legends didn't respect that move, even though Dan Gilbert was sabotaging LeBron when he was in Cleveland. <laughs> I mean, the team, I've said this many times, the team that he went to the finals with was atrocious. But they don't like the fact that he teamed up with other guys because their mindset has been, well, you usually play for one franchise or a few franchises and you stay loyal and you try to build something there. That's the disconnect that's happened. And that's why even now a lot of younger players are trying to make their own little super teams. I mean, even look, Shaq won in Miami. We kind of forgot. But no one gives him trouble for that. Mm -hmm. Totally. He teamed up with D-Wade. D-Wade was the man on that team. He was. Real. I remember I, my favorite player growing up was Reggie Miller. And I remember at the end of his career, there was rumors he might go to Boston. I was like, no, no <laughs> don't do it. I don't care if you're not going to win any championships, you know? Right. So he didn't. Has your opinion changed over time? That maybe he should have? Because it's still like the childlike mentality when I was a 12-year-old mm -hmm. loving to watch Reggie Miller. No, I would have hated seeing that. I still would have hated to remember that. All righty, let us know your thoughts. Kevin Durant, did he get called up by Scottie Pippen or no? Comment section below. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Do you know what you could get for $4.99? maybe one pack of Skittles. You know what's better? A lot of content. So download the TYT app, available on iOS and Android.